द बर्थ ऑफ द पर्सन इट से राइट दिस आई स्पेसिफिकली बिकॉज मर्करी ऑल्सो इंडिकेट यमल मर्करी ऑल्सो इंडिकेट ट्विंस टू आइडेंटिफाई अ चार्ट एज अ ट्विन चार्ट see if uh, if if the client doesn't tell you that i am a i have a twin can you look at the horoscope and say this is a this person may have a twin or say i don't believe in me i believe he will have a twin can you say that certainly you can you are an astrologer right mercury is the key and the third point is mercury also indicate adaptation so mercury when it is strongly influencing the second house and fourth house you go for adaptation and when mercury strongly influences the fifth house you adopt the child but remember when you are getting adopted that means you are losing your parents sun and uh, moon have to be afflicted and this mercury should also be being an afflicted whereas when you are adopting a person in the case mercury influencing fifth house you are Uh, this mercury have to be powerful and strong for the adoption to really take place and should be benefic for the adoption to be good and if it is malefic then the adopted child is not auspicious and will create further problems the basic point is how do we check mercury is powerful or not i am giving you a standard funda applicable to every planet applicable everywhere in fact whatever i have told in the series can be applied to every planet with a little bit of modification i am now going to give you one of the biggest secrets in astrology and one one thing is important that i should tell you you should respect the knowledge though it is being given for free because of my desire to you know actually uplift the quality of jyotish that is being practiced but this knowledge is invaluable it comes from the sixth generation old parampara that i belong to and i don't think there is anyone else who can talk about these things it needs a lot of experience and the parampara as well first of all how do you identify a planet being weak so very simple case you go to the jagannath hora this is the standard software that i use i have my own calculations so don't forget to check my jagannath hora settings video where i have explained the calculations that i use for calculating a horoscope and why do i do that in the jagannath hora you go to this strength section right here in the strength section you go to other strength you will find shadbala here there is also shadbala graph now you see it is written shadbala percentage strength planet having 100% or more than 100% is powerful more than more and more than 100% is more and more powerful but the planet having less than 100% point is weak for example in this horoscope take mercury it is 82% strength it is weak take jupiter it is 99% of strength it is weak again this is when a planet is weak when a planet is afflicted planet gets afflicted by the aspect of malefics mars saturn rahu ketu can consider bhumi vyatipat mandi etc are also considered more the malefic influence more the affliction lesser the point from 100 in shadbal more the weakness this is how a planet becomes weak and becomes affected so you are an astrologer this was my point right you are an astrologer you know I, when i was doing research so i think uh, 2016 17 on this i searched for the techniques one used to predict about you know siblings if they are twins because many a times twins have different lives i found many techniques for an example i will say anari technique they are like you know like jupiter indicates the jiva third indicate the sibling so if the person have a twin predict uh, the elder one from position of jupiter and younger one third from jupiter for all these things to happen first of all you should know that the person is a twin and how you will know that when the person tells you then then what type of astrologer you are 
the person have to tell you that I am a twin, right? So as an astrologer, you should know if the person is a twin or not. You can easily find that if you follow authentic bona fide parampara astrology that I teach. Two things are important before I tell you, uh, like I have already told you the combination before I illustrate it to you. Two, three things are important. First of all, these are my personal researches. This is not written in any book. No astrologer have ever dared to do research on these principles, right? Neither they can do, you know, for obvious reasons, because people now nowadays, you know, like since last 200 years, I haven't seen any astrologer well-versed and proficient in traditional parampara Vedic astrology, who is also popular and in the public domain, this generally doesn't happen. Another thing is these are my researches and I don't consider those techniques as even researches which fail to give result in more than 80% of our source. And when I say a research, like many people generally say, you know, that the horoscope that I'm using is wrong. First of all, it may be wrong for that astrologer that they are following or for from their own principles, I rectify all the horoscopes myself and take the data, which is authentic point one. Point two, you should understand that one, one horoscope doesn't conclude a research. If I say that I have done a research into it, there have been at least in the rare cases, like such as person being born as twin, more than 30 horoscopes I take for research. If it is less than 30 horoscopes, I don't do research on that topic. And if it is a topic like, you know, like if someone have adopted a child, common things which gen commonly happens, I take more than 100 horoscopes to more than 100 horoscopes and more than 80% applicability to actually call it a research. This is something you have to understand one more point. My Ainamsha, my setting, my method of teaching is what will help you achieve this, right? The accuracy and efficiency of these techniques lies in the settings and the method of teaching that I adopt. You learn the technique from my video, then try to apply it using Lahiri and Amsha. This you have to understand. And another thing is, like when I was teaching Gemini course, I think there was an informal discussion there. I taught uh, two uh, combinations for the person having a twin person having a twin sibling, person being born as a twin. I primarily use six combinations for twins. In these six combinations, I am sharing with you the weakest of the combination, which is applicable in 80% of horoscopes. Less than 80%, I don't consider a research. Other five techniques are those which are applicable in more than 80% of the chart. My top technique is the one which is applicable in 96% of the chart, but that I am not sharing. The weakest technique is what I am sharing right now. If you take 30 horoscopes of people who are twins, in those 30 horoscopes, it will match in more than 24 horoscopes. More than 24, 26 horoscopes, it will match. Take this word from my side, right? I will repeat the funda one by one. Mercury should be weak, afflicted, and connected to the ascendant in D1 and in the D12 Dwadashamsha chart of the person for the person to be a twin. For the case of twin, the person being born as a twin. I am giving you example using four horoscopes. Right? See this, see this horoscope. This is a horoscope uh, that was shared to me by a known uh, friend and student. This student was in my first course that I did in 2019, Jyotish Horoscope was shared by him. 
as i have told you the technique go to the strength and you see mercury have 96% of strength that is less than 100% in the d1 chart mercury is the lord of the lagna it is weak and what i told you mercury should be weak afflicted and connected to the ascendant both in d1 and d12 chart connection to the ascendant in d1 chart happens weakness comes through shadbal having less than 100% aggregate strength and affliction should be in both d1 and d12 chart right in the d1 chart mercury is weak 96% aggregate shadbal less than 100% connected to the ascendant as ascendant is the sign virgo itself which is the sign of mercury and mercury is situated in the second house rahu and gets under the fourth aspect of mars afflicted now you check the d12 chart mercury goes to the third house and in this third house mercury goes to the sign of capricorn mercury or any planet in the sign of capricorn is the most afflicted planet as per my research you see a planet in capricorn and start telling bad result about the planet without considering anything else is the principle that i jokingly say to my students okay it is afflicted take another case in this horoscope go to strength mercury is having 93% aggregate shadbal which is less than 100% 0.1 the ascendant is gemini which is the sign of mercury itself mercury connected to the ascendant as well mercury goes to the third house with sun a malefic in the sign leo malefic rashi and falls under the pap madhya yoga of mars in the 12th house from mercury and saturn in the second house from mercury going to the d12 chart mercury is debilitated in the sign pisces and goes under the eighth aspect of mars afflicted again so mercury is having less than 100% point in shadbal one plus mercury is connected to the lagna in d1 chart by the lagna being the sign gemini 2 and mercury is afflicted in both d1 and d12 chart 3 all the three conditions fulfilled person is able now see uh this chart mercury is having uh, 87% point that is less than 100% weak lagna is gemini so mercury is connected to the lagna right because lagna have the sign of mercury itself mercury is in the second house and in that second house this mercury is conjoined dhuma mandi and gulika highly afflicted the house where dhuma is situated is completely destroyed going to d12 chart mercury goes to the sign libra where he is situated with saturn afflicted and also falls under the aspect of rahu fifth as ninth aspect of rahu again afflicted though remember that in d12 in any divisional chart i don't primarily consider aspects but still you can like do it for the sake of exemplification i have done this now see this horoscope okay and this is a bit complex case right so i'm just telling you how with variations it can be applied shadbal mercury is having 86% of aggregate strength less than 100% coming to the horoscope mercury is situated in the 6th house where he is with sun sun is 28 degree and mercury is 22 degree so mercury is with sun also combust malefic mercury is situated with parivesh and mrtyu two very malefic planets now along with this 
ascendant is Taurus. The Lord of the ascendant is Venus, and Mercury is situated in another sign of the same Lord, Taurus. Thus, having a connection with the ascendant, this is a indirect connection. Now you come to the D12 chart. You see in D12 chart, Mercury is situated in the sign Cancer where he is getting the eighth aspect of Mars, affliction one, twelfth aspect of Rahu, affliction two. And for me, the major affliction is Papa Madhya Yoga made by Saturn and Rahu on the either sides of Mercury because I don't take aspects in the divisional charts. This point is extremely clear. Now, the next point, I will give you just one example for that. That is the person being adopted. Right? Like the person getting adopted. What is the rule? Mercury either connected to the second house or connected to the fourth house. The connection should be with both the houses, but until and unless I teach you how many types of connection happen in Vedic astrology, you cannot do that. So, just modifying it. Mercury connected to the second house of family or fourth house of home while being weak and afflicted at the same point of time. So that the person gets adopted and also the significator of mother and father should also be weak so that the child gets separated from their mother and father. Also, the fourth house of mother and ninth house of father should also be afflicted. Look at the horoscope of Steve Jobs who was an adopted child. Go to strength. Mercury is having 89% of strength. That is less than 100% weak. Now this weak Mercury is the lord of the second house. So connected to the second house. The fourth lord is Mars. And this Mercury is in the 10th house from Mars making a what is called Kendriya Samman. Any planet any two planet having 410 connection to each other are connected. This is called Kendriya Prabhav. Right? The uh, Kendra influence, quadrant influence, they take it as connected. Right? So this way, Mercury is also connected to the fourth house. In Navamsha, Mercury is situated in Cancer, which is the natural fourth house, another connection of Mercury with the fourth house. Now you see this Mercury, this Mercury is in the sign Capricorn. What I have told you, any planet in Capricorn, start telling bad result about that planet without thinking anything else. The planet gets automatically afflicted. Added to that, this Mercury is conjoined Kala, Vyatipata and Upaketu. Three malefics further afflicted. In the D12 chart, this Mercury falls in the Rahu Ketu axis and gets the fourth aspect of Mars also afflicted. Shedbal, Mercury weak, Mercury afflicted, connected to second house and fourth house, makes Steve Jobs get adopted as a child. Steve Jobs was an adopted child. Now, the third part, people who have adopted children. What I have told you, Mercury should be connected to the fifth house of child while being strong. Because this is, this is a, like, this is a good result, right? This is not a bad result. You adopting a child, giving home, shelter and everything to people, right? This is a good result. Mercury getting connected to the fifth house while also being strong. If the Mercury is having positive influences, the adaptation will be good. If the Mercury is afflicted, the adaptation can go bad. To illustrate this, I will like to take the example of Angelina Jolie, who have taken uh, many children's in adaptation. Go to strength, you see Mercury is 135% aggregate schedule. 35% more than 100. Fairly strong. It goes without saying. Now this Mercury 
if you can see sorry this mercury is connected to the fifth house directly getting situated in the 11th house and it is aspecting the fifth house as well right and specifically because the sun is at 19 degree and mercury is at 28 degree 4 minutes retrograde mercury the combustion degree is 8 mercury is out of the combustion degree as well and mercury is retrograde getting chishtable so this mercury is quite powerful and this powerful mercury is influencing the fifth house while getting retrograde as well what i have told you about retrogression that planet if the planet is retrograde it gives the result in multiplicity so angelina jolie haven't adopted one child she have adopted many children if you look at navamsha this mercury is very powerful being in his own sign virgo in navamsha so this mercury is in own navamsha very powerful influencing the fifth house that's why angelina jolie have adopted many children for adaptation i have uh, better and many other yogas as well one of that yoga i think i have taught in my course predicting through classics as i have already told you at any given point of time i take more than 30 200 horoscopes to test the formula and i only declare teach and use those techniques which give me more than 80 percent of satisfactory result less than 80 percent of result i don't consider the result as well, for being uh, born as a twin, I have six combinations. For getting adopted, I have four combinations. And for adopting a child, I have uh, three combinations. Out of these, I have taught you the weakest technique. But if you take 30 horoscopes, even this, even this weakest technique will apply in 25 or more than 25 out of the 30 horoscopes. This is my very important dear personal research that i have shared open heartedly with the astrological world with a desire and hope that the level of people practicing astrology will increase improve and become better because i realize a thing that if we the people research minded people who have done a lot of researches and have had the great fortune of learning from authentic bona fide parampara if we don't share these techniques to the world i don't see others who can do that thank you for watching the video we'll meet in the next video thank you and have a good day